Hey YouTube, it's Travis. Guess what day it is? It is new tool day. And today the new tool is my Bosch router table. I'm going to do an overview and then tell you some of the things I like and some of the things I don't like. So be sure to stick around to the end. But before I could do anything, the first thing I had to do was put this thing together. The assembly was mostly straightforward. The assembly only requires basic tools, but there are a lot of screws, so just pay close attention to the instructions. When installing the front face with the power switch, you'll need to hold the nuts on the back side with an open-ended wrench. Once the main table was put together, I built the fence assembly, which included the dust port, overhead guard, and adjustable faces. Next, I installed the router plate. I had a little bit of an issue getting the plate aligned with the table, but after a little tinkering, I got it. Then I used the manual to figure out which holes I needed to use to attach my router, and then I just dropped it into the table and attached it with the mounting screws. I did my best to tidy up the wiring under the table. Leave a comment if you guys have a better solution. To finish up the assembly, I installed the router bit and then installed the feather boards and the correct insert. At the time of making this video, I got all of this on Amazon for $450. I put links to this kit and the individual tools in the video description. Now let's talk about all the things that came with this router table. It came with the Bosch router motor, the plunge base. It also came with a fixed base, which is used to attach the router to the table. It came with plunge and fixed based chip shields. It came with both quarter inch and half inch collets. It also came with wrenches to replace the bit and a height adjustment wrench. It also came with this nice heavy duty carrying case. So those are all the things that came with just the router itself. Now as for the router table, the first thing obviously that it came with was the router table. But you also got two feather boards, an overhead guard, a mounting plate that fits all sorts of different routers. We got a bunch of different insert rings for different router bits. Came with a starter pin and a starter pin guard. And frankly, I don't even know what these things are or how to use them yet. So if you guys know, please leave me a comment. It came with outfeed vent shims, which I'll talk about a little bit later. And it also came with all the hardware to mount just about any router. I'm only gonna cover some key features and specs, but if you want the full list, I put them all in the description down below. First, I like that it came with both a quarter inch and a half inch cullet, so you can use just about any router bit you can find. It comes with several of these little inserts, which will help you keep the gap small between your router bit and the table. It does improve dust collection, but it also prevents small pieces of wood from falling down in there. Nobody wants that. Routers can make a ton of dust, but this little dust port actually does pretty good, especially when I connect it to my DeWalt dust extractor. It's got a nice little storage pocket here on the right side. And it's got a nice little place to wrap your cord here, but I didn't find it very useful until I drilled a hole right here. It's got a pretty decent safety shutoff switch. The top seems very heavy duty and the fence is made of aluminum with a lot of adjustments. You can even move the faces in and out to minimize the gap. And you remember those shims I talked about earlier? Well, you can put them behind your fence face on this side to use your table as a small jointer. Well, I think you all know that nothing in life is perfect. So what don't I like? I'm not a fan of these plastic legs. I kind of thought they were going to be metal based off the picture on Amazon. While it's super nice that it came with these feather boards and this overhead guard, I think they're kind of clunky and hard to adjust, and I'm probably not going to use them anyway. I'll probably just use my hedgehog feather board. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. If you guys have any tips, please leave them in the comments. I don't see any good place to wrap this cord underneath the table. Um, I feel like that's kind of a huge miss and Bosch should have done better on that one. The table also has a cord that goes to this switch, which is supposed to be wrapped around here when you store it. But for the life of me, I couldn't figure out how to get the cord out, so I ended up drilling this big hole. What accessories can you buy for this router and router table? Well, my kit came with a plunge base and a fixed base, but you can also buy both of them separately and I put links to those down below. If you decide you just wanna buy the Bosch router and not the router table, there are a couple of accessories that can help you with that. There's an edge guide and there's also a plate you can mount your router to so you can make your own router table. So what can I do with a router table that I can't do with just a regular handheld router? Well, you can obviously add edge details or do flush trimming just like with a handheld router, except the table makes the cut far more accurate and easier to control. You can also use the fence to set up very accurate rabbit and dado cuts. A router table is ideal for making rail and style cabinet doors with special router bits that mirror each other. You can also use a router table to make baseboards, tongue and groove boards, or shiplap. So I guess you could technically do all the same things with a regular handheld router. But the router table makes it safer, easier to control, and more accurate. 
It also does a better job holding the workpiece 90 degrees to the router bed. This router table has a ton of adjustment. You can move the fence forward or backward and even angle it. The feather boards and the overhead guard have a lot of adjustment as well. You can adjust the cutting depth from the top, but you need to reach under the router table to undo the clamp on the router first. The first time you set it up, you will also want to adjust the router plate to make sure it's level with the table. Bosch included nice adjustment screws for this. So what other accessories can I buy once I have this router table? Well, there are some things, but once you have the table, which is the best accessory for router you can get, you can buy things like feather boards and lots of different router bits. Obviously, you can use the Bosch router with this table, but does it work with other routers? You can absolutely use this router table with other routers. In fact, I went to Bosch's website and I found a compatibility guide, and I put it in the description down below. Although I haven't used it much yet, so far I really like this router table. It's got lots of power, it's pretty portable, and works almost as good as a much larger router table. Thank you so much for watching my entire video. Please check out one of these other awesome videos over here and subscribe so you don't miss my next one. See you guys.